Hey guys, it's Todd here. So, in this video, I just wanna do like a vlog type of video. Kind of, in a way, like a Jacksepticeye vlog kind of video where he just sits down, talks like this. So, yeah, might as well do one last one before 2020. I don't have a ton to talk about. This isn't gonna be like a 20 minute Jacksepticeye vlog. This is probably gonna be more like a 5 minute one. 6, 7 at most, maximum. But more like five, maybe even four. Whatever. So yeah. I just very few things to talk about. So just like a lot has changed throughout two thousand tens. Like I grew like almost well, been like two and a half feet. Two to two and a half, somewhere between there. Two thousand ten to right now. And I got to tall. So I was like fourteen. I mean, I've been accused of being like a senior. I don't know. I mean, I, I was like, I remember got in a car crash like over a year ago. I believe it was like January of 2018. Yeah, and the cop thought I was like 16 or something. I was like, what? <laughs> Do I look 16? Apparently. I don't know. You can't really judge teens based on. I don't know, their height, or... I don't know what it was judged me by. Maybe it was by my height, I'm assuming. I mean, like... I'm over five and a half feet tall. Yeah, but, I mean, most people my age are... Around that height. I'm gonna say, like, that's the average. But according to, like, the national average, that's, like, above average. But for my school, that's, like, average, apparently. Be around... F I'm not exactly five and a half feet tall. I'm taller, but... Around five and a half feet is, like... The typical... But I mean, there's teens that are like, my friend, he's six foot three, and he's in my grade. I'm pretty sure he's younger than me by like a few months, so I to judge based on height. But yeah, I've also probably mentally grown a lot. I've changed mentally. I mean, going from like almost just 10 whole years, you know. You're gonna change a lot, obviously. So like how I discovered Post Malone it changed me a lot. Like I'm still my same self, but I got a new hobby. I listen to music. I create music. Yeah. And in 2015, 14, I can't remember. One, I'm pretty sure it was 15. It's February 14, 2015, I believe, was when I uploaded my first video to YouTube. Strictly, because I wanted to entertain people. That's why I started. And now I've grown a lot, got to a thousand subscribers, only because of the circles clean edit, which got me at least three to four, four hundred subs by now. So yeah, I mean, without that video, I could have been only at like eight hundred still, for all I know. Yeah, my love for music, it's taken me far. Like, like I know for a fact, I would never, I mean, never have the best music. That's impossible. As long as Post Malone is on this earth, it's impossible to make better music than him. So what I'm saying is. Yes, my music could, in theory, get almost as good as his to be the second best artist in the world, but... I mean, that's very, very unlikely that's gonna happen. Like, I know there's probably a ton of small producers that are as good as me. I wouldn't- I don't doubt it, actually, because I've heard remixes of stuff, and they're pretty good. So yeah, I'm not saying I'm nearly, like... I can't think of the word, like, studio producer good? I guess you could say that. Whatever, to, just to make... Like, saw it's good for, like, the masses, the millions, the billions, even. But, you know, I still think for a small artist like me, I'm actually pretty good. One thing I just like to say about myself is I have a very unique style. If you compare me to, like, anyone else, you can already tell, like, my style is unique. If you put, like, three different songs, like, back by back, and someone was asked to, like, figure out which one was mine, it would actually be super easy to tell which one was mine because of my style. Because I don't try to copy people. And I do love trap music. That's literally the only music genre I like better than any other music genre. Like, trap music, my favorite. Like, every other music genre, I like the same. Like, ev like I'm an all music genres type of guy. I'll listen to anything. As long as it's made by Posty. Or, or PewDiePie, you know. Yeah, that's really the only two people I listen to. I don't know why. People always seem surprised when they ask me, like, who else do you listen to? I'm like... PewDiePie, and who else? That's it. I mean, when my friend was asking me that, 
And after I said PewDiePie, he's like, who else? I'm like, uh, uh, myself, I guess. <laughs> he just laughed. I don't know why people expect me to listen to, like, more than just, like, one or two people. It's like, Post Malone himself, that's over 150 songs. You know, it's good enough for me. I don't need 2,000 songs. Although I would love 2,000 made by my man himself. So off the topic of that, you know, I'm going to keep making remixes, of course. It's just something I've started to do lately. Because, you know, remixing stuff is cool. Trap music is awesome. So I'm going to keep making trap remixes. The only non-trap remix I made, two, were the Google Hangouts Call, which was my first ever remix, and the Kahoot one. That was before I learned how to make trap with all the closed hi-hats. But now it's, like, pretty easy now that I learned how to make trap. So yeah, something I saw like the last few days where apparently there's like rap instrumentals on YouTube where like they're free to use, like you can pull them up, you're about to rap someone like in public. It's like, all right, I need a beat, search up YouTube, free rap, instrumental, whatever. Yeah, a lot of times it's trap. It's, it'll say like trap slash rap, like free to use. So I was thinking, you know, it's always in the back of my head. I could do that. It's not really my kind of thing. I'm not a freestyler. I don't make freestyle rap. I don't know, I'm just not my thing. Like, Post doesn't do it, so I don't see why I should. PewDiePie doesn't do it. It's not a guarantee. So, I did want to show that I do have beats, like, in store, like here. So if I go here, all of these right here, these are all beats I haven't used. I created these all, like, two weeks ago. Started, like, two or three weeks ago. Then I stopped when I started to, like get busy or start making remixes so yeah like I just wanted to show this second one right here so this one it's not trap like out of all of these I believe it's only this one and one other one that's not trap so yeah this one right here is like a pretty chill one that I really want to use because it's like so chill I just love it like this is what it is <laughs> Yeah, so that's what it is. Pretty chill. I love it. I'm 100% going to use it. Because I love all music genres. Not everything. I'm never going to go full on 100% trap. Yeah, so another thing I wanted to talk about is next year, it's January 1st, 2020. No more upload schedule. And what I mean by that is I'm not, and not I don't mean I'm going to quit YouTube. That's not what I mean. What I mean is I'm just getting rid of my schedule. I'm not going to force myself to upload daily. Because at the beginning of this year... I made a promise that I would upload every single day on YouTube no matter what because I just wanted to do it for one whole year and that did benefit me definitely I got tons of videos out tons of new fans and I even started to like double upload not all every day like just like on the weekends and breaks because I wanted to but the thing is there was a problem with that if I daily upload every day which would mean I was not expecting my grandpa's passing this very sad, which is where the song Gobba Never Forgotten came from. I think even later that day, I literally only made a video to like try to take my mind off it. So in a way, I mean, I guess I was helping myself, but if something like that happens again, I'm not going to force myself to make videos. Like I'm just going to go the rest of the day, chill like that. And I only get sick once a year because I, I don't know, I'm vaccinated and everything. I'm not sick. I don't. I'm not. I don't have an anti-vax mom. I'm not. I, my family's not stupid. So yeah, I'm like really ever sick. But the time I was sick, I still made a video on that day. But it was that circles better clean version. Cause I'm like, oh man, I'm sick. But I promised to do daily uploading. So I thought, okay, I should do something where I don't have to talk and it won't take a lot of effort. Something I could just do quickly. So I thought, yeah, I'll do a better clean edit because it's just taking out two words very quickly you know and yeah people liked it so I mean yeah it wasn't worthless but it kept my streak going and now by the time you're watching this video I'm gonna only have two more days and then it's official that I uploaded every single day for one year daily uploaded yeah and I'm very proud of that but yeah no more upload schedule which does not mean that I will stop daily uploading it just means I'm not gonna force myself to so I could definitely I could go a full month of daily uploading if I really wanted so yeah next thing is what by the time you're watching this video 
I've either decided to do this or not, but I'm trying to Q&A for the last time before 2020 to do a community-driven video because I recently just tried a Discord subscriber challenge and nobody participated because, I don't know, I don't have enough active fans or whatever. And I decided if I get enough questions, and what I mean by that is like, not like 1 to 10, but if I get like 15 to however many, then I'm going to make it. And if I don't, if I only get like 1 to fifth. 1 to 10 questions, then I'm going to stop like all community events because people don't want them, people don't care, people aren't active enough. Whatever reason, you know, I mean, I'm not my audience. I know I do actually have people who care like Bibster and Rod. They love those, but if I don't get enough people, it's only those two, then it's kind of not really community. It's kind of like a Bibster and Rod kind of thing. So it's not really the community. If this community actually works, then I will continue community events. But if it doesn't work, then I, it's they're just completely over. So yeah, that's all I had to say other than I do have a new outro that I made a song for. So it's a completely new outro. I don't know how long I'll be using it, but probably the entire of 2020. Maybe even further, I don't know. But yeah, I did it so that I don't have to keep saying the same phrase over and over every time at the end of every video. Like, thank you all for watching, blah, blah, blah. You know, because that take. I'm saying like five full sentences like thank you all for watching blah, 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 blah. but one of my outro it could just do it for me so yeah that's gonna be the end of the video check out my new outro right now thank you all for watching give this vid a liking go subscribe for much more comments I don't ignore and post notifications <laughs>